What's up guys, welcome back to the channel uh, and hopefully we have a good run here on episode 3 of this Let's Play. Uh, we have finally made it to High Wall of Lotharic. Um, uh, sorry about the last video guys, at the start I say the episode is for High Wall of Lotharic, but um, as I said in the comment for that video, um, I sort of edited it. Edited it and uh, let you guys know that um, that's my bad. The video just went a little bit too long, um, finishing off Firelink uh, with some secrets and tips there, um, and going through a few items and things of that nature. So um, we are 100% doing High Wall of Lotharic in this episode, um, and that I can guarantee. Uh, okay, so without further ado, guys, um, if you do like this video, uh, please like and subscribe. Take the time, guys. Uh, it really does help my channel. Uh, and uh, let's go. All right. So, uh, when we finished off last time, um, uh, we finished off um, Firelink, <coughs> Firelink Shrine completely. Um, we ranked up a little bit. I'm pretty sure we are rocking at level 18 and uh, we are definitely in good shape heading to High Wall of Lotharic. So let's go. Now this next area um, it kind of brings you from the game introducing itself to the game getting for real. Um, is it really, really difficult uh, for veteran players and people who have played the game before? Not in the least. Um, but there are some strategic things you want to do um, as a beginner to make sure that it is fun and you're not dying every five seconds. So let's go and see if we can't do that here. Now keep in mind again guys, this is by no means going to be a perfect playthrough. Um, it's going to be sort of the way I like to do it. Um, I know there's going to be, you know, comments and um, people saying, well, you shouldn't have done it like that, do it like this. But the fact is, is um, there are certain ways that I like to do it. Um, and, you know, I, depending on how I'm doing the playthrough, uh, I might skip certain things. Um, I only really concentrate on things that I feel like are important. Uh, and just to let you guys know, I'm rolling into these things for absolutely no reason at all. Just to break them. Um, so, we're going to save here. This is your first bonfire. Now, because it's a playthrough, I'm going to try and be fairly thorough in this ep episode. Um, might have to split it into two parts to do it correctly. Now, there is a guy right here hiding. Where is he? There he is. Um, you want to make sure you take care of him because when we go this way the first time here, uh, you know, you don't want him firing arrows at you. So, we'll take care of him. There we go. He's done. Uh, Okay, let's see. Those dogs uh, can be an absolute pain in the ass. Uh, make sure you deal with, try to deal with one at a time. Uh, where did that dog go? He's hiding, I mean, he's gonna come back and burn me, most likely. Anyways, for now, we'll take care of this guy then. Get rid of him, get that dog out of there, because the other one's probably gonna run back at us at some moment and uh you know try and be a pain in the ass now this guy over here your first real beefy enemy um he can be um quite difficult just make sure you sort of keep your distance keep your shield up and uh make sure he doesn't hit you so i'm just gonna go around here and just see if i can yes yeah, so we got the backstab uh, when he's down charge up a big one he can't even get up and i'm out of uh endurance now i can finish it so there you go. He's done. Still wondering where that dog is. Now, this is another beefy enemy. Uh, let him come at you. It's fine. Keep your shield up. Strife around him. Maybe 
get in for the backstab. Again, when he's down, charge the heavy. And he gets a big hit. Now you're out of uh, endurance, so remember that. Uh, and that's a stagger hit, so you gotta be careful. That one I thought might be a stagger hit, but it wasn't. And he is finished. So that guy is finished as well. Uh, now we are going to go this way. Now you remember I told you about fire bombs. Fire bombs are important. Um, this next area can be a little bit difficult. Um, there's going to be a guy who transforms here. If you you can kill him before he transforms, but you won't get the good uh, the good stuff that he offers if you do. So we're going to where are the stairs? Oh, I'm going to get absolutely owned here, and he will most likely beat me. There are the stairs. Okay. So let me just do one of these and get my fire bombs equipped because that is how you're going to beat him and just to let you know guys he can hit you through walls go back to your Estus out of fire bombs now so I'm going to retreat he's gonna get me no, maybe not. yep he got me not surprised at all guys um again those guys are tough but uh, we're gonna do that again real quickly here and I'm probably just going to fight him because I don't have enough um, fire bombs to kill him so uh, probably a better idea to just fight him and we are going to do the exact same thing again here now guys don't run by those other guys um, at this point they will all follow you not a good idea um, now there's both dogs there let this one come it's fine kill him done uh, that guy down there you could probably run by Now that other guy down there with the axe, you could probably run by and get away with it. Um, I'm going to go get my souls and I'm going to try and fight this guy head on, which is quite difficult, uh, but I will. Look how quickly he hits me. Yeah, he got me already again, guys. I mean, can be a kind of a difficult enemy at the start of the game. I mean, generally, I would have him dealt with already. But, um, again, nothing's perfect. So, again, I'm going to I'm gonna try this one more time. Most likely, I'm going to just go finish him off. He does drop a Titanite Shard in an Ember. But, uh, I mean, at this point, it's just not seeming. And, I mean, I've ranked up pretty good, too. Can you imagine if you hadn't done what I've done? You wouldn't have any chance at all. Your weapon wouldn't be strong enough to even look at him. So. Nice done. Let this guy come at you. Yeah, you're being too slow, buddy. Backstab him again. Let's finish him. And back up we go. I haven't decided yet. I mean, the thing is, um,
Gabi. Okay, last time guys, uh, if I don't get him this time, we are definitely going past him. Um, just because, I mean, again, at this time in the game, maybe just not quite strong enough to take care of him. Um, I feel like I am getting a little bit unlucky, but uh, it is what it is. Um, I want the Titanite Shard, but not that much to uh, deal with him that many times. And the thing is, you like, if I had enough fire bombs and I could take refuge on that guy and sort of get him from far away, I definitely would, just because it's so easy to take care of them. But I, I really don't have enough fire bombs at this moment to do that. So I'm not even going to attempt it. This is the last time I'm trying them, guys. And uh, if it doesn't work out, uh, we are definitely going past him next time. Alright, now get this guy. Get your souls first. Not a good start, guys. I mean, staying behind him is, is pretty good, but he's so wild with his movements that, yeah, see, like, most likely, uh, you're not going to be able to. done guys so again sorry about the weight there guys tough enemy at the beginning see you get the ember and the titanite char very very important at this point in the game to get those that's why i didn't want to sort of like uh, tuck tail and run on that um and i'm glad we we held it out but um yeah so so that part is done guys there's really not much more up here uh now we're gonna head back down here and if this guy comes and meets us, we'll fight him. But most likely, he will stay down there. Where is he? Yeah, he's far away. So uh, we've already beat him. We know how to beat him. No big deal. We will continue on up here. So back to where we started here. Um, go to the bonfire. Get your life back. Because we are going to go another way now. Um, the enemies always reappear in this game, so you could go down there fight those guys again. The guy with the Titanite Shard and the Ember will not reappear, so you cannot farm him. Um, so let's go. This part, um, right away, you want to run right down to the end here, and you want to kill this guy with that's ringing the bell. Right away. It, oh, and that was not good because... Yes, okay, that's fine. Um because he will wake up all these guys and they will all charge at you so just go around guys uh, kill a bunch of these guys uh might as well free souls right i mean you're not going to get much but you might as well kill them uh another soul there kill that gentleman all these guys it's like one shot i mean they're really not powerful enemies but uh, they give you a couple of souls. That's great. All right. So kill this guy. He's going to be a two-hitter. Uh, I believe most guys in here are going to be two-hitters. Yes. And there's going to be one guy that sneaks up on you behind something. I believe it's over here. There's a couple more firebombs. So that guy... He's a little more beefy, but you backstab him, and he's a one-shot kill. Uh, we're not going that way. As you can see, it's blocked off. Uh, the way you want to go is down here. 
Uh, take the ladder because it will probably take a little bit of your health and you need all the health you can get at this moment. Um, one thing I want to mention as well, guys, we got the Estus Shard in the last episode. I did forget to equip it. We will go back uh, to Fireling Shrine and equip it as soon as possible. Probably next bonfire that we get to. Um, but yeah, so we really should have four Estus right now. Um, we're rocking with three at the moment, uh, which will be fine. But Okay, so this next part here... Um, you can run to the right there down that hallway and do it that way um not my thing uh for me i'm running past these guys my main objective is to get into the room uh where the dragon is breathing fire because there is a, a a dragon hanging out uh and he is gonna breathe some serious fire so uh don't worry about this guy here just roll on past him and just run guys just run Past all these guys, sort of roll by them, get into this door here. That's the most important thing. You can fight the guys while you're in here. So let them come in one by one. The dragon will take care of some of them. Um, well, he took care of a lot of them, actually. Um, this is a very important part, guys. Uh, there's, an, there's a weapon that we need that we are going to be playing most of our playthrough with. Um, it is the Claymore. Uh, the Claymore is, you know, hands down one of the absolute best weapons in the game. Um, it is just reliable, it doesn't weigh a ton, although it does weigh a good amount. Um, with the right gem, which I believe would be heavy for our build, uh, and it would 100% be the heavy gem, uh, it, it's gonna be a good weapon for us early in the game. It's gonna get us through the game. Um, so 100% you want that weapon. Now, what you're going to do here, I do want these items here, so I'm going to run for it. I'm going to grab this one. It's an ember. I'm going to roll back. I'm going to let him breathe his fire. And then we are going to go for the next thing. That one to the left there, I don't think it's really all that important. If I can remember, I, I don't remember exactly what that item is, but I, I don't think it's really all that important. Um... And we are coming up on almost 20 minutes on the stream here. So, um, that's the club. See, like, really wasn't even worth my time, I'll be honest with you, uh, to get that. Let the fire. See, you can see off in the distance there that, uh, that white shiny there. That is what we want. So, um, let him calm down a little bit. Uh, make sure your health is full. I'm even going to use an ember uh, to make sure I have that much more health for this next part. Uh, and we're going to make a run for it. So run, 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 run. It always makes you jump there for some reason. And that is going to screw us. Pretty good. Now we got the item, but most likely with the amount of fire here. Oh, we might make it. Yep, we are going to make it, guys. So there we go. So we got our Claymore. Uh, very important weapon to have at this point in the game. Uh, use an Estus there. And this next part is also difficult. Um, this is a Mimic. Now, these guys are important to get because uh, there's one piece that we really, really want to make sure we get. And I'm going to show you through this walkthrough, uh, playthrough, let's play, whatever you want to call it. Uh, how to do it. So we want the symbol of avarice from these guys and the only way you're going to get that most likely is by making sure you take care of every single mimic in the game. Um, there is one mimic in particular that I leave till the end so I can farm him till I get that piece um, and I'll show you how to do that as well. But we are going to kill this one. Uh, this is not the one that we farm. He's not e easily enough accessible. Uh, so get ready. I'm going to two-hand it, and you can hit him before he even comes out. Give him a couple shots here. Now, be very careful for that grab. You do not want that grab in any way, shape, or form. Oh, and he got me a little bit there. That's okay. Use this. He's going to try and kick you. That's all right. Do not let him grab you or kick you. Let him come at you. Grab. He wants to grab.
grab again. Full heavy. And he is done, guys. Again, a good amount of souls you're going to get for him. Uh, at this point in the game, 1,600 souls is a lot. You're going to get the deep blue, uh, sorry, the deep battle axe from him. Good weapon, good early game weapon. Um, if you're not happy with the sword that you have, go ahead. Uh, I prefer this sword until we get the claymore going in the right direction. Um, and, you know, we get our strength up. Um, keep in mind another good thing. If you have, which you won't at this point in the game, if you have, like, some extra souls uh, that you want to level something up, um, leveling up your... Let me take a look here... Your vitality is also important because it's going to allow you to carry heavier items. Um, you have to remember you are wearing a lot of armor right now. Uh, you're wearing a heavy shield. Uh, there's things that you can switch around to make sure that you have more room. But that claymore at this point is pretty heavy. Um, we may be able to wield it with our helmet off. I'll take a look and I'll see, but we'll adjust from there. But like I said, most important stats early in the first playthrough are Vigor, Endurance, and Strength. Um, and uh, and then after that would come Vitality. Because, I mean, later you're going to be ha carrying some heavy, heavy weapons. And you're going to want to, you know, have some, uh, some equip load. Okay, so let's go back up here. Okay, guys. Now, this next area here... Uh, we already did that this next area here um, you are going to meet a Lothric Knight Lothric Knights are very powerful um, you're going to want to have your shield out keep in mind there is some guys sitting around the, yeah see like you want to take care of this guy so you don't want to fight them both at the same time kill him first but this guy is powerful so make sure you keep your shield up strife around him don't make let him walk by kill the guy let him do his thing there. That's the move I wanted. And then you backstab him. You make sure you hit him while he's down. Give him even another one. Roll away. Yeah, you don't want him to set up for that strike. He will kill you. Okay, he didn't drop anything, but they drop good stuff. Let me tell you. Uh, stuff that you really want in this game they drop like for instance the minute he gives gives up that Lothric Knight shield I'll be switching uh, this shield for that one mm. Backstab and that's a one-shot kill Okay so that's all pretty much done guys uh, now we're gonna go over here now to your left there is another fairly dangerous guy uh, he can really damage you if you take him lightly. So keep your shield up and get out here and face him. Let him do his thing. Backstab, and that's a one-shot kill. Break some of these because we like breaking things um, for no apparent reason. And yes, there's nothing really of any importance up here other than some more things to break, uh, which I love to do. Uh, we're not going to go down those stairs at this moment. Uh, we are going to... We are going to go through here and save. And we'll probably use up those souls to make sure they get used. So we'll go to Firelink Shrine here. Okay, guys, so let's see what we got here. If we have some souls, we're going to use them. Uh, let me see. Sell item. Oh, I went way too far. Oh, I guess that's all we have is these. All right, we'll use them anyway. Quick few souls. Alright. 
so before we rank up, let's take a look at our items again. Uh, do, 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 do. What do we got here? That's the wrong page. Okay, so what do we get? So we're gonna use that uh, with Andre. Uh, he's gonna um, make that usable for you. Uh, we're gonna do that in a second. Uh, do, do, do. And if you have any leftover souls, like a lot of times when you rank up, you'll have an odd number of souls that isn't anywhere close to a new rank. Um, use those on uh, fire bombs, guys. That's what I would do. That's what I generally do. Um, so we have two Titanite shards. We have the large and we have the Titanite scale. What else do we have here? Okay. So, uh, yeah, there's your axe there. It has um, dark damage, but it does not have dark scaling. Um, you can't scale it with intelligence and faith because it has a deep gem on it not a dark gem that's the difference um a good weapon overall i mean it's got some power right physical 96 not really all that great ours is still much better um but this is the one we want here and now we cannot use it until our dexterity is at 13. Uh, so we need one rank of dexterity to be able to use that properly um, and the weight of it is nine as opposed to three for our long sword so that's a big difference um, and then we have the, let's read the claymore. Unusually large and heavy greatsword normally wielded with two hands. This highly versatile weapon can be swung broadly or thrusted. Uh, skill is stance. While in stance, use normal attack to break a foe's guard from below and strong attack to slash upwards with a forward lunge. That is a very good skill, guys. I will show you it real quickly here. that put this on so um, because you have a parry shield it won't let you do your skill when you press L2 but put that on your back two hand it so here's your skill um, you're gonna hold it like that and you are gonna use R2 for an upward lunge now when a guy's holding um, a shield in your face and you don't seem to be able to get any hits on him uh, that's exactly what you do boom and boom or you could do the opposite which is boom and that one is a sort of a thrust. So light attack is this, which will get rid of the shield. And heavy attack is this, which will also get rid of the shield. It's also quite a damaging blow as well. Um, so that's that for that. So let's, uh, let's rank up first here. Now that we have our claymore, we're going to most likely keep it if we can hold it, which I believe we can. Then touch the Touch the darkness, yes, I know. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and get the dexterity right away to make sure that this weapon is ready to use. And then we are going to put another one on strength again. Okay, and that'll leave us with 1100 souls, which is close to a rank. Um, I don't think I'm gonna use all those on uh, fire bombs. Uh, I, I might even just try and you know hold out until I can get enough and then use it as a rank it is in my opinion too close to another rank to just use all that uh, all those souls so we're gonna confirm this that would be level 20 that we're sitting at and um, we'll go quickly see Andre here So here's Andre, uh, he's going to be able to rank up your weapons, he's going to be able to give you more Estus flasks, uh, you can change your Estus allotment, so some of it is the Ashen Estus, and some of it is the Healing Estus, um, he does quite a few things, um, so he's an important one. such as my purpose. So there's that. So we are going to first reinforce Estus Flask. That will put us to four. Um, guys, it won't change right away uh, until you go to the bonfire. So don't worry about that. Um, now we are going to reinforce our weapon. And we do have two Titanite Shards, which will give us our first rank, which will make that weapon quite strong at this point in the game. Um, now we need another four Titanite Shards to get to the next level for that one we will get it and see it's good too that i kept that money because well souls i always call it money that those souls because as you can see that costed nearly half of them to do what we've done so uh we did need it 
Uh, and what else do we got here? You can also um, rank up your shield. Uh, obviously, at this point in the game, we're not going to be doing that. Uh, it's going to require a massive amount of Titanite shards that we need to put into our main weapon at the moment. And uh, we're not going to worry about that. So, uh, so that's that. So all we're going to do now uh, that that is done is we are going to... Can you hold that? No. See, he's too heavy. So you got to go like this. Take off your helmet. Let's see if he's good. Yes, he can roll now. So no helmet. That's fine. Uh, all good and dandy. Uh, all fine and dandy. And... Uh, you know we're still in good, very good shape here without the helmet uh, quite protected so uh, I just want to organize the storage box here like I said I don't like to leave my all the weapons um, you know in, in, in your main area uh, just to me it just gets too confusing there's weapons everywhere I like to use leave the ones that I'm using we are not going to use this anymore we're done with it uh, we are done with the deep battle axe as well. Uh, not that we ever used it, but we're not going to use it. Uh, and the club we're going to put in there as well. Uh, what else do we got? We did get a long bow from one of the enemies. Um, not the bow you want. Uh, there's going to be some easy, uh, better bows to get by the time that you need them for the game. We're going to put that away as well. Uh, let's take a look here. And the Night Helm we will keep uh, on us because if we do end up having enough vitality, we will put it back on. And we also have some standard bolts, some standard arrow. Uh, those you just you just keep where they are. Um, yeah, I, I'm not going to move those. Okay, <clears throat> so that's it, guys, for this episode. Uh, it went a little longer than I wanted it to, but that is part one of High Wall of Lotharic. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to have um, a boss to face. Uh, we're going to have the rest of Highwall of Lotharic. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And um, I hope you're back for the next one. Okay, guys? True North Gaming, and I'm out.